Hello users, and welcome to another episodic installation of Flicks Done Quick. The show I haven't made a video for in quite a while, but I decided I would maybe bring it back because why wouldn't I? It only takes like five minutes to do these tops, so I might as well make free content when I watch movies. So I watched a movie called The Core. It was released in 2003, and the premise of the movie is, without many spoilers, you know, it is about the Earth's core stopping its movement and therefore causes a crisis in electromagnetism or whatever. The first half of the movie are all the characters kind of being introduced as they kind of figure out what the problem is. This is about a two-hour-ish and changed flick, so it's, you know, it's quite lengthy, but not too lengthy. Um, and then the second hour of the movie is them going to the core of the Earth and trying to fix it. And um, I thought it was pretty good. It was, it's a very, very... This movie was made in 2003, and it's a very, very, very 2003 movie. It's got a lot of cheesy music. The effects, the CGI and all that crap is so cheesy. It is maximum cheese factor um but the science in it you know i don't know jack fuck all about it but the science of it was pretty fun it was cool it was enjoyable i didn't think the movie ran on too long at all um what i did think was that the movie was a little claustrophobic in the latter sections but you know it's it, it gets really tense when the characters start dying spoiler alert obviously if we're watching this movie there's going to be spoilers. But, um, the characters start dying, you know, and, and there's giant colossal disasters that take place in cities like Rome, Italy, in San Francisco, USA. There's lots of big, like, 2012 style, like, the world's ending kind of scenes that I think are pretty fucking good. But some of my favorite bits, I think my favorite scene, spoiler-wise, you know, like, obviously, you know, go watch the movie if you're, if this sounds interesting, but one of my favorite scenes is when they get into, like, this crystal pocket in the middle of the Earth's mantle, or, cru or like, whatever, I think it's the mantle, um, where there's just, like, this giant open pocket of air with crystals in it, and they have to figure out how to get through it. Uh, it's just a really cool film. Obviously, it's, you know, it's very sci-fi, and it's really cool, it's really fun. The worst aspects of the film are the fact that the military is very much so present in the film, and they're garbage. The military characters are so bad, they're cringy. Keep in mind, this movie was made in 2003, so this must have taken place under the President Bush administration, which, can you imagine, can you imagine fucking George W. Bush trying to, like, have his military find a way to dig into the core of the earth. Jesus Christ, I could, I would rather die to, rather than envision what a fucking catastrophic scenario that would be. But either way, it was, you know, again, the movie was good. The main characters were good. The scientists were good. Um, my favorite character, um, uh, might be, I think his name is Braz, Brazzle. Uh, I, sh I should know his name, but uh, I'm going to look this up real quick. I think it was like Brazzle or something. Brazzy. Brazzers. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what it was. Braz. Brazzleton. Yeah. Fucking IMDB lists like extras at the top of the list for some reason. Brazzleton. Yeah, he's probably my favorite character. He's uh, the guy who invented the ship that can go into the center of the earth. And, uh, he, I don't know, he, I just liked him. He, whenever he did the scientific kind of, like, quips and stuff, I thought he was pretty good. And he had, like, a rivalry because another one of the people on the team stole something he made, like, work-wise, like, 20 years ago or so. I thought it was, you know, pretty good dynamics there. Um, and the movie was very non-distracting. You know, there was a lot of interpersonal details, but it didn't distract from the actual core plot. So, like, there's, like, a somewhat, like, kind of romance going on between two of the main characters, but it didn't, like, it was just kind of subtle. Uh, either way, the movie was pretty good. I enjoyed it. If you like two-hour-ish long sci-fi adventures that kind of show how disastrous the government would be, one of the things is, again, 
the government, um, they actually found out near the end, this is hardcore spoiler, so feel free to go watch the movie and then come back, but we all know you're not going to do that. But the military was actually the reason why the Earth's core stopped spinning, because they were developing some super weapon for preventative measures, and they're saying, like, we need to develop these WNDs, because if we don't, someone else will. And it's like, this reeks of, like, post-9-11 George W. Bush era propaganda, but at the same time, you know, what are you gonna do? It was made in 2003. But either way, good flick. I would definitely recommend you do it quick. And if you want to me, if you want me to continue doing these videos, I know I haven't done one of these videos in probably all year. It's been a hot, long time. But either way, uh, I'm going to try to bring this back. It's you know, it only takes like five or six minutes of my time, and uh, it could be enjoyable. So thank you for watching. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you again in another vid.